Several years ago, a uh, group called the Leadership Network that I uh, really appreciate, uh, they uh, did a thing called the Nines, where they took a, a topic, leadership topic, and they invited a bunch of different speakers to uh, give a nine minute uh, presentation uh, on that topic, kind of their best of stuff on whatever the topic was, boiled down to uh, nine minutes. Uh, they were trying to listen to the collective wisdom of a group of people to, uh, to share uh, and kind of listen to God together um, and get kind of the best of, it's called the nines. Well, we're still in that idea blatantly and we're starting something called the fives uh, to use as a spiritual exercise to help us transition out of this first wave of the coronavirus uh, pandemic uh, thing that has faced our world. And so we are, are starting to open back up, at least in the United States, and I want us to ask the question, what is God teaching the church? What is God teaching us through this? I am one minute into this video. Um, you have five minutes to, for your video. So we're gonna ask you, I'm asking you to record a five minute video that teaches something about what God has taught you in the last two months. Okay, and so maybe that is, is something that he's taught you related to the coronavirus. Maybe it's something that you've found in scripture. Uh, maybe it's reflections on a sermon you've heard. But we have a few parameters that, that you should uh, consider. Number one, I want you to use this as an exercise on learning how to teach the Word of God. And so you need to study a little bit first. Uh, you may have a nudge of what God is, is working in you, and, and that was, uh, I bet there is a scripture that is, is at, the, at the heart of that. So first, go find that scripture, and then uh, do some study on it. Uh, read uh, study notes, read commentaries, read a sermon on it. Um, just read it, read it, read it, read it until you know what that Bible passage says. We're two minutes into this video. Uh, read the passage, and so when you are going to teach in your five-minute segment, you are going to accurately represent what does God say in that passage that you chose, um, what, what was his words. Uh, a Bible passage cannot mean what it never meant. So we want to understand what the author meant first before we ever move to the, the, the phase of teaching where we're trying to express how significant that passage is to us or to other people or how we should apply it in our life. We want to figure out what the, the author mean before we understand how we find significance in it or apply it. So during your five minute talk, make sure you spend some time teaching exactly what the Word of God said. So you need to study it first and prepare your words carefully. Uh, five minutes is not a lot of time. I'm just saying that from experience and we are three minutes into this video now. I've got two more to wrap this up. In five minutes, you may have enough time to introduce the topic or the passage that you're gonna speak on, three minutes to actually teach on it. What does it say? Um, what does it mean? Uh, a way to illustrate that so people can relate to it. And then, uh, and then a minute to conclude it, you know, which is pretty much application. What are you gonna tell them? Tell them and then tell them what you told them. One, three, one. Five minutes could go really fast. Uh, maybe you think of it as, um, maybe you wanna teach what the scripture said in a, uh, about two minutes, and then you wanna illustrate it for a minute to give a, a story or a, an illustration to help people relate to it. Then you wanna spend two minutes figuring out how we apply and obey it. So like a, a, a two, one, two kind of thing. But you got five minutes, and so it's not a lot of time, and you got to plan that time wisely on how you can communicate. Saying less is better than saying more. So we're now four minutes into this, so I got one more minute to tell you all the details of of the fives. Uh, if you'd like to participate, uh, what you need to do is uh, pick your passage, ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate to your mind something He's taught you in the last two months. Then go find the passage of Scripture that that ties to, study the passage of Scripture, and and then figure out how you are going to communicate the truth of it, and then uh, illustrate it, and then how somebody would apply it. Then I want you to record the video, keep a timer going, put a little egg timer. Or I'm right now looking at the timer on my recorder on my iPhone so I can see we're 4 minutes and 34 seconds into this video. Stop at 5 minutes so you know when you need to bring it home. At 5 minutes, stop. Once you've done recording the video, and I prefer you turn it landscape, so portrait, doesn't matter to me. Once you've recorded it, send it to me. I'll give you some feedback uh, if you'd like to make a second pass at it, but I just wanna make sure you're teaching the word of God and that we, the church, can all be encouraged by what we, together, are learning through coronavirus. Five minutes.